During the Game Awards 2023, Exoborn was revealed as a new tactical open world extraction shooter. So basically all of the features many of you have been trying to mod into Fallout 4 over the last year. But this one's coming from Shark Mob and being worked on by a team that was formed out of some of the original developers on The Division. Shark Mob reached out to sponsor this video as well as gave me a ton of additional details around the game. So Exoborn's going to take place in a post-apocalyptic future, but how they're handling this is actually pretty unique, as this will be a post-apocalyptic future from nature. In Exoborn, the game will take place after a giant climate disaster, and it's not like this just happened. Humanity was trying to stop this disaster and just flat out failed, leading to the now unique apocalyptic experience where weather is genuinely going to play a giant role in gameplay and likely in the story as well. So all of these weather effects you can see during the trailer are more than just background dressing. When the main character breaks this window and jumps into a gust of wind being carried away, like yeah, that's actually something you'll be doing in this game and likely be a huge part of it, because it is described how storms will completely disrupt both you and your team's movement. You'll have gunfights in tornadoes, and likely not by choice, you'll be having a gunfight and then a tornado will literally break out around you. Apocalyptic storms can roll in, completely changing the environment as well as your plans. And these crazy weather effects are implemented to make sure no two sessions ever feel the same, so you may literally want to check the weather before completing that next mission. But thankfully, you are at least somewhat prepared. You'll be playing as the Reborn, survivors of the apocalypse who have special implants allowing them to use exo rigs to enhance their abilities. And oh boy, are these things going to enhance your abilities. One of the pretty cool design philosophies in Exoborn is your character is really just what you have on you. If you want to do more damage, you need to upgrade your gun or just flat out find a new one. And before you deploy, you'll have the option to choose which exo rig you're going to be going in with. Each of the exo rigs will cater to a unique playstyle, and some will even synergize with certain environmental effects and can harness the power of nature. In the trailer, there are some staples, like a tankier exo rig or using the shield ability, but also some more fun, unique content, like this push as well as some enhanced melee combat. But Exoborn is also going to feature the holy grail of combat abilities, the grappling hook. As one of the other major design philosophies with Exoborn was a specific focus on verticality. You'll be thrust into this vast open world that's full of threats, so sometimes just being high will be your ally. You explore an upside down world, but actually be able to climb in and on top of it, which really sounds like it could flow well with some of the other weather effects in the game, using wind or storms to navigate to the top of buildings or even flank enemies. And tying these together to create unique advantages does seem like a pretty interesting gameplay mechanic, because this is going to be a dangerous world. Even outside of nature, Exoborn is a high stakes experience where PvP is always on. If you die, you're going to lose everything. The developers described how your playstyle and decision making will really determine how much PvE or PvP you see. And there are full-fledged PvPvE experiences, which are likely just all-out chaos. Like, can you imagine fighting other people while also having other enemies warring around you, and then, oh wow, a storm rolls in that completely changes the battlefield. But the overall design of the game isn't meant to make it unbearably difficult. Like, yes, there will be serious consequences if you die, you'll lose everything on your character, but Exoborn is further designed to make it so you and your choices will make this all more approachable. You'll be able to understand and get into this game relatively easily and likely stick to the safe areas if you want to, but it'll be a much harder game to master. And thankfully, you don't have to go into all of this alone, as you can play solo or with a team of up to three people. And synergizing with your team will be a major aspect of gameplay, notably around your exo rig and its abilities. You want to synergize this with your team, or perhaps even the environment you're going to be going into and which missions you'll be doing together. And to top it all off, there are even vehicles to add an additional layer and X factor to all of this. A unique design decision that will flow through all of Exoborn is perspective. Exoborn is both a third and first person game. Exploration is handled in third person while aiming will switch you up into first person. So it seems like everyone's going to largely be on that even competitive playing field. And choice is going to be a big thing here. You'll have your own custom character that you are able to create, but also of course how you build your character from exo rigs to which weapon you will use will be totally up to you. And I really do like this aspect of your character is really just what's on you. It's not like you're going to have background skills, but instead you'll just have to rely on looting, crafting, and potentially even upgrading your gear to dictate what your strengths and your overall playstyle will be. And some of this will come down to other NPCs, as it is described that you can get help along the way. Apparently certain other NPCs can help you with customization, but also NPCs in general will be a massive part of this world in game, as there is a full-fledged story with many secrets to be discovered. I wouldn't be shocked if they get into what went wrong in the world, as well as the various responses to it, being able to learn about the collapse of an entire civilization, but also an insight into who or what survived. 
you'll encounter not only other aggressive players, but also be thrust between warring factions. So you can likely start to see the hierarchy of difficulty evolve here. You'll have other NPCs that you'll be able to battle against and likely steal loot from, but also those highly contested areas that will get more into PvP and PvE. And I imagine a really fun aspect of this will be actually utilizing the weather to your advantage. Like if you're going to try and raid a certain location and there's likely going to be other players waiting for a specific weather type that can really synergize with you or your team exo rigs could be a really cool mechanic, but also specific extraction events where the stakes will be high and you'll have to make those tough choices of going in for more loot or just being happy with what you have and extracting from there. Because of course, some of the best loot will be locked behind some of the biggest risks. The design of the world will also play a pretty large role in your overall experience. Exoborn takes place in Colton County, USA. And from some of the art we've seen thus far, you can see this entails a more rural landscape at points, but with some major remnants from the world before sticking out above everything. Definitely seems like a world with a lot of foliage contrasted by just hulking structures that will tower above you. I wouldn't be shocked if several of these were built in an attempt to try to save the world from whatever environmental conditions were going on. But I think this is a pretty cool contrast of old world America kind of as the base, but then some crazy futuristic tech and destruction all around it. It seems like there'll be some larger impacts on the environment itself. As it stands right now, Exoborn is being worked on by a team of over 400 developers and already has an active community on Discord where both fans and devs are active. So if you are interested in learning more about Exoborn, you could use my link down in the video description.